In a world of predators and prey, one creature has endured for over 430 million years. Silent, solitary and armored in evolution's first invention, the scorpion is both relic and survivor. But before the sting, before the shell, even this ancient warrior must begin in vulnerability. This is the unseen story. The transformation from embryo to apex nightcrawler. Alright, so imagine this. It's a moonlit night in the desert, and two scorpions are about to get their groove on. But, uh, scorpion mating is way cooler than you might think. The male and female do this intricate dance called promenade adieu. It's like a tiny waltz, where the male guides the female over his sperm packet. Now check this out, the female doesn't lay eggs, nope, fertilization happens inside her body. So, once the dance is over and fertilization occurs, things start getting really interesting inside the female scorpion. We're talking about cells dividing like crazy, but all in complete darkness. It's like nature's own secret lab, working overtime to create these incredible creatures. And, you know, it's all happening without anyone seeing it, pretty wild, right? Now let's fast forward a bit. The embryo is starting to take shape and it's honestly mind-blowing. You've got these three main layers forming, one for the skin, one for muscles, and one for nerves. It's like the scorpion is being 3D printed inside its mom. But what's really cool is that even before it's born, this little guy is already getting its predator features. We're talking claws, legs, and yes, that famous stinger. It's all there, just in miniature. And get this. The embryo is already flexing its muscles and testing out its armor. It's like a tiny gladiator preparing for battle, all while still inside its mom. Okay, so now we're at the really exciting part. Birth. But, um, forget everything you know about egg-laying creatures, because scorpions do things differently. The mother scorpion actually gives live birth. Yeah, you heard that right. She bends her body, and out come these tiny, pale scorplings. It's like watching a bunch of mini aliens emerge. But here's where it gets even more interesting. These baby scorpions aren't ready to face the world just yet. Instead, they climb onto their mom's back. They're basically hitching a ride on a living, walking fortress. These little guys are soft, blind, and totally dependent on mom at this stage. It's like nature's version of a piggyback ride, but way more badass and uh, way more dangerous for anything that messes with Mama Scorpion. Now, these baby scorpions aren't going to stay soft and cuddly for long. Pretty soon they go through their first molt. It's like they're unzipping their old skin and stepping out as slightly larger, slightly darker versions of themselves. This is when they start to look more like the scorpions we're familiar with, it's kinda like their first upgrade, you know? As they grow, these juvenile scorpions start practicing their hunting skills, they're flicking their tails, extending their pedipalps, and generally acting like tiny ninjas. Eventually they'll leave mom's back and head out on their own. It's a dangerous world out there, but these little guys are ready for it. They'll keep molting and growing until they reach adulthood, and the cycle starts all over again. So there you have it guys. From a microscopic embryo to a fully armored desert predator, the life cycle of a scorpion is nothing short of amazing. These creatures have been around for hundreds of millions of years, and now you know why. They're tough, they're resilient, and they're perfectly adapted to their environment. Next time you see a scorpion, remember, you're looking at one of nature's ultimate survivors. And, uh, maybe don't try to pet it, okay?